to my channel. I'm Adele and my channel is all about my dressmaking journey. So if that's something you enjoy, please subscribe and have a look back at my vlogs. Now today I'm popping on because it's the end of January already and I'm gonna be talking about some of my January makes and some of the things that I'm gonna be planning to do in February. So I'm gonna jump straight in. Now the first make, I've already spoken about it. I did a whole review, which was my Olivia dress. Um, I've worn it for work and I had some really lovely comments and thank you to everybody that commented on my last video about that. So go back and check that video out. Now, it's been a bit of a quiet month for sewing for myself. I've only actually sewn myself one thing, but I've sewn two things for two other people. So it, that is actually my plan more for this year, for sewing for others rather than myself. And in particular, I want to sew more for my girls. So I'm gonna start right there. Now. I am a lover of reusing a pattern as many times as I can. And again, I've done another one from this new look, N6649. So you may have seen, I've already made the joggers and I've also made the dress. And this time I've made the top. Now I spoke about this. I don't know whether I spoke about it on my vlog or over on my Instagram. This is a bit of a crop top that has an elasticated waist. And my daughter's 10 and we had to have a little bit of agreement on how short that was because she was like, mommy, I want a crop top. And I was like, nope, crop top. So we made an agreement and I picked up this amazing sweatshirt jersey from So Your Own Wardrobe that had a massive 50% off sale. They've still actually got some fabrics in their 50% sale. Um, just after Christmas that was. And it's this beautiful cat's fabric. So it's black with cats with cat's eyes all over it and I've made the jumper. Now I took inspiration actually from her ready to wear jumpers that I've noticed a lot of the jumpers are actually unfinished at the bottom. So I, I went with that instead of doing the elasticated sort of waist there. I got one of her jumpers and measured it up against this one and I just cropped it. Well, not cropped it because it's not a crop top. <laughs> <laughs> mommy wins but I just cut it and it's it's really good I think I might do this with some of my sweatshirts instead of putting a band along the bottom just cutting it and it does roll up let me show you so it does roll up slightly but I really like that effect and it's nice and fleecy on the inside so I absolutely love that and she looks so cool in it and one thing that really surprised me, it actually doesn't look handmade so it looks like something she could have picked up from the shops and she's very very happy. So I'm going to definitely make another one of those, I just need to find more fabric that she loves as well. So yeah, that's my first make. Now my second make that I've actually made for somebody else, oh, oh dear, sorry, okay is it's my stepmom's birthday in March and she's going over to see my stepsister over in Australia early. So I've got on and made her her present already and I hope she doesn't see this because then it'll be like, oh, spoil surprise. But I've made her the Suki robe from Helen's Closet. Now, I absolutely love this. So this is my very first pattern from Helen's Closet and over the Christmas January sales they had buy three patterns and I think you got 15% off. So I got the Suki robe, I got the Blackwood cardigan and also the Avery leggings because I really want to make some active wear this year for me and I can't resist a lovely snuggly cardigan. But I was really excited about this Suki robe and it is quite fam fabric hungry. I think this came out of almost three meters or even more. But this fabric I actually picked up from a swaps table. So it's been an absolute amazing make this has been. But I love it. And I've made it in large. I'm wafting it around, you can't really see. So what I'll do is I'll pop it on Gloria and try and get some photos or even put it on myself and have a swish around with it. <laughs> because I did it in a large and I love it. So I'm gonna make myself one. I don't know whether I'll go full length as this one. I might go the shorter one, but I don't think it being the larger size has any problem because it's just so nice to wrap around. 
but I absolutely love that and I have to praise um, Helen's Closet's instructions they are amazing and what I really liked about it actually with it being a beginner pattern it had your beginner steps but then if you wanted to sort of elevate it and make it a little bit more special so instead of having the facing that you can actually see all enclosed it actually told you how to do that method as well I just went with the basic but I think that's a really nice touch to move a beginner onto an intermediate sewer all in one pattern. But I absolutely love this and I really hope that she likes this because I thought make this before she goes away and then she can wear this on holiday. But yeah, absolutely love that. And thank you Claire for putting that fabric on the swaps table. I was absolutely thrilled to get that. Now. Tilly from Tilly and Buttons has worked with the Crafty Cotton Company, I think I've said that right, I apologise if I haven't, and brought out her own range of fabrics, which are all organic cotton. Now I picked up two of the fabrics, let me see if I can find the other one. Oh no, it's going to be in the way of where the camera is. But I bought the rainbow one because I'm going to make a dress for my youngest daughter for the summertime with that one. And then I picked up this geometric black fabric. And I've made an Agnes dress. Now, you can tell I'm not overly like, woo, about this. Because I'm going to be honest, okay? I'm going to be completely honest about this. Now, the fabric is black, but it's printed on white. And part of this is my own mistake with the way that this hasn't worked perfectly. Because I've chosen to make quite a fitted pattern. So it's a fitted Agnes top with the dress skirt hack. And... What I'm finding, unfortunately, because it's on white, when you stretch it out, it goes really faded. So with it being on the top, the neckline, because I like to really stretch my neckline out to get it really nice flat laying. And, oh, I'm really sorry, it's all upside down. And because of that, it's kind of stretched out here. I wonder if you can see that. It's really stretched out there and you can see the white underneath. And even though I used a ballpoint needle that's meant for jersey, it has given white sort of dimples where the thread has gone. So I know it's beautiful fabric. I love the design. I'm just a little bit gutted, to be honest with you, about it being on a white background because it doesn't look as vibrant black as I thought it was going to be but never, never mind that I'm it, it's going to be a dress it's going to be nice for the summer that I can just chuck on with trainers and just be comfortable I don't think I this will be one of my dresses that I'll sort of be swanning around in like oh I sound really bad I will be swanning around in it but I'm just a little bit underwhelmed with it which is such a shame which is such a shame but I do love the pattern I just wish it was a little bit blacker, if that makes sense. A little bit bolder in the black. But yeah, you know what? You win some, you lose some. So it's not necessarily one of my favourites. But yeah, it's 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 a good make. It's a good make. Now, that has been a pretty quick whistle stops tour, actually, of what I've made this month. Because there's not been too much for myself. But I've got some exciting plans in February. So not, is it next weekend? Not this weekend, the weekend after. We're off to the Man Manchester Sewing Bee, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be my first sewing event this year. I'm going up with my friends and we're also going to be staying overnight. So we're making a full weekend of it. Now I'm planning to make some pyjamas whilst I'm there because I wanted to make a pattern that I knew I what I could do with and I'm gonna wear them that night in the hotel so I'm like yeah pajama party so that's what I'm planning on making and um what else oh yes I forgot about this honestly my mind is all over the place so we are also going to be filming at the end of February our, our next hack off so Becky notes from the sewing room and I we this will be our fourth hack now where we take a pattern, both of us, and change it in some kind of way, but don't tell each other before what we're going to do. And this pattern is going to be the Molly Top, which I've actually got on now. So it's the Sew Over It Molly Top from the very first ebook that they did, City Break. 
and I, I really love this pattern because it was one of my first patterns actually that I ever made in Jersey and I love it I really like the relaxed fit so it's a raglan is it no not raglan see my mind is all over the place today but the sleeves are set in and then the long sleeve has an extra part on there and then it's a lovely round feature here now I was been speaking to Vicky and she gave me ideas for this hack. So I don't want to say too much. All I'm going to say is that I'm going to be copying, well, using this pattern to copy a ready to wear garment that I've seen that Vicky showed me that I just fell in love with. So I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to say too much because I know Becky watches this. So I don't want to give away what I'm actually going to make, but I'm really excited. And I'm in search still for the perfect fabric. So I'm going to have a look online, hopefully get that ordered and this will be a really easy hack. It'll be a really simple one to do. I'm not too worried about the fact that we're almost in fe uh, February already and we're going to be filming at the end of February because I can make this in one night. I'm really excited. Right, enough said, enough said. Right, so apart from that, what else have I got planned? Now, one thing also before I leave you, I actually had a really good tidy up in my uh, sewing room and I've tried to organise how I work my make. So it just at the corner of my eye reminded me of this. So I've heard before of people using wallets to make up their plans. So I'm going to take that on board. I think this year I need to be a little bit more focused rather than just going, oh, what shall I make? Just grabbing the first thing. So I've got these little wallets that I think I picked up just from Tesco or somewhere. And in here is the pattern and the fabric. And then I'm going to keep them in here until I come to actually sew it. So at the moment, nothing in here has actually been sewn up. So I've got this fabric to make up a dress. That was actually a birthday present that's been quite a long time coming. Then this one, what's this one? Now that one's going to be exciting. A pussy bow, pussy bow, pussy bow blouse. I've been really excited to make that one up. All the patterns cut out. I just need to get the fabric cut out. And then, like I've been telling you already, I'm going to make more for my girls. So in here is fabric to make my eldest, the two wild dress from uh, Made by Jack's Mum. Really excited about that. I picked this fabric up. Well, I didn't actually pick it out. My daughter picked it out. So I said to her, I gave her a few options and I said, which ones do you like? And she chose this one. So I'm really, really excited. I've cut that pattern out. I've just got to cut the fabric out. So then my next three makes, apart from the hack off, which because I haven't got the fabric yet, um, I haven't sort of set up my, uh, I've got an empty wallet ready for it, but I haven't set up that. So yeah, February is going to be another exciting month. That's one, two, three makes for me and hopefully one for my daughter. I don't know whether I get them all done in February, but I'm going to have lots of fun just trying. So there is my February makes. What am I talking about? No, there's my January makes. And I hope that you've enjoyed watching today's vlog. If you liked my channel, please give me a thumbs up. Have a little chat down below and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.